Hey, it's Kevin. Thank you so much for coming by for another No BS Social Media Chat. One of the questions I get asked by a lot of people, and I think it's because when they look at their Facebook timeline or when they look at Twitter, they see friends, celebrities, whoever it is they follow, just on there all the time. And, and they don't know how to ask it necessarily, but it's almost like they're asking the question, is it possible to be too social? And the answer is both yes and no. It all depends on the audience you're trying to reach. I got a buddy of mine who's a friend first and also a longtime client who is one of the most online, socially, when it comes to social media, he's one of the, the biggest proponents. He's one of the biggest advocates. He's one of the biggest, well, participants in social media. And man, I, I bet he posts 12, 14 times a day on Facebook. I can't even tell you how many times he posts on, on Twitter, at least that many on Twitter. Now, maybe once or twice a day on Instagram doesn't even bother with YouTube. But when it comes to Facebook, I, I, I bet if I opened up my, my Facebook feed right now, there'd be at least two or three since the last time I checked about a half an hour, 45 minutes ago. But what's funny is, is while I may think he's posting too much, well, I look at the amount of comments, I look at the amount of followers, I look at the amount of friends, and, and it's not. It works for those people. And I think that's the important key. It's understanding your audience and understanding what they will bear. In all honesty, as I've said, you, know, you can't go away for days, but to me, if you post once or twice a day on Facebook, that's good. If you post 12 times a day on Facebook, if it works, if you don't see your, your, you know, your followers going backwards, then, then go ahead and do it if you've got that much to say. And I think there is the biggest key of all when it comes to social media. If you have something to say, something to share, and he's big on sharing other articles, history facts, things like that, it's not necessarily, oh, look at me. Look at what I'm doing. Look at what's going on in my life and my career and things like that. In fact, we've been discussing this for over a decade now and about how there's, you know, there's, there's this whole rule of thirds that we've talked about many times in our No BS videos where, where basically what he'll do is he'll share good content. He'll share personal anecdotes. And then about a third of the time, and it's really not even that for him, he'll share something work-related, trying to get people to do something on behalf of a client. And I think that's the key to all of this. It works for him. But I know if I were to go out and do the same thing, well, and, and he's running a, a personal you know, page on, on Facebook, and he has about 5,000 friends. And he could probably have more because he's got a ton of people who are then following his page because they can't be friends once you hit the 5,000 mark. Me, I've got 850 some odd friends and maybe you know, 40, 50 people following me, something like that. So you know, uh, an audience of 900 versus his audience of about probably 6,000 okay, when it comes to Facebook. And I know if I were to post 12 times a day, I bet my numbers would drop by 100, 150, no doubt. Because people don't want that from me. They don't expect that from me. And because I don't have the audience built for that. And I think that's the key to being too social. It's easy to be not social enough. And that's just by just sitting around not doing anything. But by being too social, you have to really delve into what your audience wants. Pays attention to, pay attention to you know, the likes, the comments, the interaction. If, if you're doing too much and all of a sudden you see a drop in it, well, then you don't do it. I pretty much know by his time of day what he's going to do, what he's going to share at different times of day. Some of it is automated when it comes to you know historical things and things like that. He'll do one or two history things a day at least, um, early in the morning to get going. And then he'll go through his feed and look for some interesting things to share from friends. He'll, he'll share other friends' posts and he'll share other things he's found on the internet and things like that. And he's really good at building that personal social media brand. He's kind of the guy I, I base a lot of this off of. Because when we sat down and discussed social media many years ago, he really understood the concept, really understood what it took to give you know, good social, if you will. And, and, but I think I've got other friends who are just the opposite. I've got other friends who can do the same thing 10, 12 times a day. And you just see, man, you can just hear the crickets going. They're just doing it, and it's almost what we call social diarrhea. They're just doing it because they feel the need to do it, but they're not really worried about the fact that nobody's out there paying attention to it. Uh, again, it's, it's like the old joke, you know, if... if a tree falls in the woods, doesn't make a sound if no one's there to hear it. We all know, well, at least we think we know, it's true. Same thing with social media. If you're going to put stuff out there, put too much out there, and nobody's there to react to it, then really what's the point? And that's something to be important. I mean, again, think of your fans, your followers, your friends, all those people you're trying to engage with. What did they want? you got to experiment. You know what? Go ahead and do 12 things in one day, and you'll find out maybe at 6 or 8 that you've hit the point of nobody cares anymore or all of a sudden something goes backwards. You've got to experiment with it. You've got to be willing to take some risks, but you'll find the sweet spot for you. You'll find out the perfect amount of social. I think that's a good way to put it.
back next week with another no BS social media chat. The perfect amount of social. I know that just is wrong on so many levels. Back next week, um, nobssocial.com. That's the website where you find all the videos. They're always there. You can find us on YouTube. Find us on Facebook. We throw the videos up there as well, too. Again, wherever you're finding us this week, it'll be again here next week with another No BS Social Media Chat. Thanks so much for coming by. My email, my phone number, you want to get a hold of me, all that stuff coming up here at the end of the video so I don't have to share it with you so you can write it all down. Thanks. Have a good one.